Nido is ITA Software's new platform for collecting and organizing data. In this demo video, we will view a World Cup history database in the Data Explorer and rotate the data in interesting ways. To get started, let's navigate to the World Cup history domain. From needlebase.com, we're going to click on Browse to get a listing of all public domains, then click on World Cup history. This is the Needle Data Explorer. To start with, let's look at all matches that have ever occurred in a World Cup game. To do this, we click on Match on the left-hand side of the screen. The matches are displayed with three additional columns of information. To choose other columns, click on Options. We'll uncheck the selected columns and instead choose Total Goals and Cup. Let's look at only high-scoring matches, matches with six or more goals. To do this, we click on the column header for Total Goals and choose Filter by this column. Then we enter greater than or equal to 6. We can also use the column heading menu to sort the matches by the total goals scored within each match. Or instead we can sort the matches by the World Cup. It becomes easier to see patterns in this data if we group the matches by their cup. We can do this using the Group By dialog. After we've grouped the data, we can sort the groups by clicking on Sort. Now we can see the World Cup in Switzerland in 1954 had the most high-scoring matches. If we click Hide, we'll collapse each group down to just its header, which gives us a great overview. From the screen, we can see the size of each group quite clearly. Now instead of grouping by World Cup, let's change our grouping to be the countries involved in each match. If we do this, we see that the United States has been involved in four high-scoring matches. Let's check them out. Oh. Looks like we lost all four of those matches. Let's hide that data. In fact, rather than grouping by country, let's group by the winning country involved in these high-scoring games. Here we see United States is not on the list anymore, and Germany is top of the list with 10 wins. Now let's take the same data and display it in a grid. A grid is similar to a pivot table. To get to grid view, we use this select box. To set up our grid view, let's display winners in the rows and winner goals in the columns. Once we have that data, let's sort by clicking on the arrow right next to totals. Now each row tells us, for any country, how many matches has that country won with a given number of goals. For instance, looking at Brazil, we see that Brazil has won 16 matches with 3 goals. If we want more details on those 16 matches, we can click on the number 16. Now we're back in our earlier view with information on those 16 matches. If we go back to grid view and choose for our rows, year, and our column total goals, we get a nice overview of goal distribution per match in each World Cup. We can easily see from this view that there were no scoreless ties in the first five World Cups. This isn't that surprising because early World Cups have fewer matches than later World Cups. If we want more details on the 1930s World Cup, we can click on the number in the totals column. This concludes our demo of the Needlebase Data Explorer. To learn more, come visit us at needlebase.com.